Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to the second video of a very Freddy Vlogmas. I'm here with Elle. Hello. And we just pulled up to Vista Village. Em literally picked me up at 7.30 Which is why I'm at currently my doing my makeup in the car. Yeah. I kept Freddy, I was like, Fred, I was like, I'm gonna look how much foundation I put on. It's like a tutorial. I was like, I cannot wear makeup to yours i was wearing my glasses i actually I had no thought makeup you had foundation like your skin oh. looks really nice <laughs> what an honor so we've just pulled up to vista we got here for opening so it's 9 a.m oh. we smashed it we've actually got two minutes to go and we're also meeting josie and emily and doing a little bit of christmas shopping you said we had to get here super early because it gets like, okay. really busy especially at christmas time. so i am like the unofficial queen of vista yeah you actually are and i am telling you guys I you need to get here. As well, it's so way. good, yeah. right? You, you need, need to clean it regularly. Yeah, I when know. It, it looks so dirty awful. right now. Oh, sorry about me. Um, <laughs> you, ha you have to get here as soon as it opens because Vista is just busy. And we want to basically do all of our shopping and then enjoy our lunch. Um, have so we booked for lunch? Or are we um, just we're going to book in the apartment. So the place oh. in front is called the apartment. It's gorgeous. I've oh my God, and they do really good cheese and coffees. But the problem is you want to stay in the apartment because it's so nice. I think it's for like VIP shoppers, which, hello, Queen of Vista over here. Look who's joined us! Looking so stylish! Oh my gosh. Yo, she's an hour and 10 minutes late. That's really not like you. I know, and I got up at 6.30 for this. And I thought you wouldn't, and that's why. <laughs> I thought you would be on average an hour late. So oh, like, an hour I've got late such a bad reputation. You need to come and see the Chanel bag I've just seen. Me wrong. Okay, yeah. All right, let's come on. Look at some lovely bags. What These are the most Josie today? boots. <laughs> Dash and socks. Oh no, thank you. Okay. They're cute socks. They're, cute socks. they're very Cotswold socks. These shoes, are they your size? Because they're so cute. Yeah. They're your size. They're my size. Okay. Can't believe it. We're so lucky. Like that, like a bow. Oh, this is what I have, but I have the short version. Like yeah, I like the longer, but. <laughs> mm. I do want one. Aww, thank you so, so much. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Love that. Oh, la la, jumpers. Wait, which one are you going for? This one. Yes. Yeah. That's my favourite one. This one is double price, and I do already have a seaton, and it has got a few bits missing. I just always prefer yeah, gold to silver. Thank you very much. It's so pretty. Are you going to wear it tomorrow night? Yes. Let's have it close up. Put the lock in. Oh, gorgeous. Cute. I love it. Half price. Thank you for saying that. Guys, I just found the most amazing shoes. Jimmy Choo. Oh my God, they're so pretty and they're really comfortable as well. Oh my God. I love them, they're like ballroom dancing shoes. guys i am back home and i'm all in my comfy clothes this is the um angel collection by ellie darby her nova set this really lovely jumper um with matching trousers anyway it was a really lovely day so nice to spend time with the girls um the sun actually came out which was a miracle because the weather in london has been 
horrendous for at least like 10 days um so maybe getting out of london was the answer um but guys i have to come clean i was a little bit naughty at vista village today i think people probably think that i'm quite frivolous with money and i'm a splurger but it's honestly the opposite i am such a fine-tuned saver like it's ingrained into me to save my money and not throw it away on like frivolous things so i don't actually treat myself to very expensive stuff very often because a lot of the luxury items i have i have because i work with the brand or farfetch usually so i don't often like splurge a lot of money and i think the last time i did that was honestly when i bought the pink pochette matisse at the airport with Josie in January 2019 and that's coming up to three years ago and honestly I've just worked so hard this year and the year before and the year before but especially like the last six weeks I just feel like I run myself ragged honestly like working so hard around the clock and I thought do you know what I'm gonna treat myself <laughs> so the first thing I got was from Jimmy Choo. Um, I never ever like have had a thing for Jimmy Choo shoes before, um, except for when I went to the Farfetch event last week, which you will have seen in my previous vlog, I borrowed some Jimmy Choo like platform heels and they were so comfortable. I've never worn such comfortable heels um, and the girls wanted to go in today. So I obviously went in to have a look and I saw these heels, which I think I probably vlog, so you have probably seen them. They didn't have as big a platform, which was good because I felt like the ones I borrowed from Farfetch were too platform but they weren't very dainty so I was thinking that these like may not be as comfortable because the platform wasn't as high but I tried them on and I walked around the store and I thought honestly these are great party shoes they're so comfortable they would go with everything so here they are oh, I love them so much I just think they're so pretty they look like ballroom dancing shoes don't you think um so they're like a champagne gold glitter so I think they'll just go with everything and they were just, just so comfortable because of that little platform but you can't really tell that it's a platform, it's very very clever, it just looks so dainty, they made my legs look really good, they were so flattering um, and they were super comfortable so I just couldn't resist because I just felt like I really needed them and I think I'll wear them a lot, like I'm going to wear them tomorrow um, and I think they're just a great like versatile party shoe that I'll just be able to wear with everything forevermore so that was the first thing i got um, and they were really really reduced as well which made it even easier to decide to get them because i just felt like it was such a good deal now the second thing is something that i can't quite believe i've actually gone and done i saw it it was the first thing i saw when we got to vista village and i honestly couldn't concentrate all day because i couldn't stop thinking about it and i even picked all the skin off my thumb and i didn't even notice i'd done it until like the end of the day and it's something that i do when I'm like a bit anxious or a bit nervous and I do it without thinking about it like it's so sore because I just couldn't stop thinking about this and thinking no I can't get it it's too expensive it's too um over the top like I just can't but then I just thought about it more and more I spoke to my parents I spoke to my boyfriend I obviously spoke to the girls and everyone kind of thought that I should just go for it so um I'm gonna show you what it is are you guys ready I just fell in love with it guys I thought that is my bag it really is so it's all in the box with the paperwork okay I'm unboxing it now this is the first time I've seen it like at home and I'm really scared oh my gosh oh, this is so nice oh my gosh I'm actually dying Look, I've literally gone red. I've gone red. I'm so excited. Oh, I just love it so much and I can't believe it's mine. The colour is just to die for. I really love how it has actual, like, it says Chanel on the front and it doesn't have the interlocking C logo, which I think is kind of a bit more classic than this. But I feel like everyone has that and I haven't seen a lot of people with this plaque. Um, also the hardware is a really beautiful like pale champagne gold. There's also a strap which is really really beautiful so you can wear it crossbody um, or you can use it top handle like this and I just think it's the perfect bag. This is this is my dream and I just can't believe that happened today. I was so not expecting it. 
to happen. Right, I'm heading back to my family home this evening. I think we're gonna get a pizza, which I'm very excited by, and I'm going to take my new bag to show them. They all think I'm bonkers, but um, I can't wait to show them anyway. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Back at the flat today, all in cozies. So, so lovely. I have spent the morning just cleaning and tidying the flat because I've got myself into this really bad habit now where I'm like really on the go and really busy. So when I'm getting ready, I'm like trying outfits on and I always leave it to the last minute. So I've just have clothes, like rejected outfits all over the floor, makeup everywhere, just like nothing put away. And then I come home and I'm like, oh my God, because I really hate mess. So I've actually just been tidying up the whole morning um, and it's really lovely and sparkling. I have candles lit. Everything smells so good. Um, and I just kind of want to have a really nice chilled day i do have some work to do um and then i also just kind of want to sort out all the christmas presents so me and my family really like to go all out on christmas day um we were never the kind of family where like i was little and i'd point to something and say i want that you know in a shop and i would just get it um i never had that but then on christmas day um we do like a lot of presents and that's just the way we like to do it so i was kind of panicking the other day feeling like i hadn't got enough and obviously i've left it quite late because christmas is literally around the corner so I went on a huge Amazon spree um, because obviously I have Prime so I could get next day delivery and I just got so much um, I'm really excited so I'm gonna unbox everything now I also picked up a few bits for myself because I just got a little bit tempted so I'm gonna show you what I got I've also told my family to either not watch this vlog until after Christmas or if they watch to skip this section so here's a little reminder to those three people my mum my dad and Coco <laughs> oh my gosh it's so foggy outside. I can't see anything. Perfect day to stay in and stay cozy if you ask me. So let's see what's inside some of these Amazon parcels. Okay, so like I said, I did mainly buy Christmas presents, but I also did pick up a couple of things for myself too that I couldn't resist. Okay, so the first thing I got is this pair of Skechers trainers. These are for Coco. She really likes Skechers. She has this like painful condition in her foot, something from dancing. And Skechers are really good for it because they actually like support her feet. So I got her these absolutely adorable trainers. I'm actually obsessed with them. Like I'm seriously considering ordering myself a pair of these. I was gonna see what they were like in real life before I did, but I would love to wear these to the gym. So yeah, they're so cute. They're this really gorgeous, like white socky material with a pale pink sole and pale pink laces. And um, you can take the blue tag off. And yeah, I just think they're adorable. She is going to be so, so happy with them. Um, and I'm gonna sneakily try them on because I might order myself a pair. Oh my gosh, guys, they are so so cute i love them they're like a size and a half too big for me but they're really really pretty like so comfortable for the gym and they just look really adorable like i really love the colors so the next thing is another gift um for someone in my family and it's this really beautiful scarf it's a cashmere blend i think it was like 30% cashmere and 70% wool. Um, so it means that it was nice and affordable, um, but it still feels really soft and it feels actually a lot more expensive than it actually was. And I just really loved the color, this beautiful like pale pinky nude, but then on the reverse side, it's like a little bit of a darker, warmer tone, which I thought was so beautiful. So you can wear it as like a little shawl like this, or just go for like a proper lovely winter scarf. And I love how you can see both colors on the scarf. I just think it looks really, really pretty and I think the recipient of this will be very pleased. Oh my gosh, guys, I got it wrong. It's actually 70% cashmere and 30% lamb's wool, which is actually amazing considering how affordable this was. That is such a good deal and such a good last minute Christmas gift idea. Next, I got a little something for me. I got this really cute little berry because my like off-white berry, I tried on the other day and it looked a little bit yellowy. Like the color just wasn't spot on, but I also don't want a white, white one that's like snow paper white. And actually finding the perfect color is really hard, but this is literally exactly what I was looking for. Something that was white, but just not stark white. Ow, oh, that was a tight pony. Okay, let's try it on. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I was looking for. That is actually the perfect berry. You know, sometimes they're really annoying shapes as well, like they just don't sit properly on your head. That is actually the perfect berry. 
and they had it in so many different colors as well um and it's just really nice it feels really nice soft quality and like it won't be too itchy either i was so happy with that honestly guys i love a berry in winter i just think you know it keeps your ears warm keeps your head warm but it still looks super stylish on the subject of hats, I also got a hat for Coco. Um, this one is not as much my style, but I think she will really, really like it. And it's this really cute little like faux shearling bucket hat. Um, I like how it's quite wintry because a lot of Coco's wardrobe is very spring summer orientated. Whereas I feel like this is really nice and appropriate for winter, um, but it still has style with the cute little butterflies embroidered. I think she will really, really like this. Shall I just try it on for the laugh? Okay, oh my gosh, this so does not suit me. Actually, no, do you know what? It's not that bad. I quite like it. I'm not even going to lie. Am I actually a bucket hat convert? Probably not quite. Maybe if it was in like a nice kind of beige wool, or like a brown wool, um, then I would like it. It kind of has a vintage vibe, but this is definitely very Coco. I think she will love this hat. It's very like Gen Z, isn't it? Okay, next I got a present for my mum and it is from UGG. They actually had so many UGG products on Amazon. I was so tempted to treat myself to a new pair of boots, but I resisted the urge. So a few years ago, we bought my mum some UGG slippers and she loves them. But if anyone has them, you will know that they don't really last very well. Like over time, they just get less fluffy and less squishy because they just get worn in. So um, I decided to treat her to a new pair of slippers. And these are the ones that I got, which I think are so beautiful and they're so my mum's style like she will like these so much more the last time we just got her like the classic chestnut ones but these are so her like the color this really beautiful like warm pinky gray she will just love and they've also got this gorgeous like gold foil detail which is so glamorous and a little bit different and I just think she will love these so much I was so excited to find these on Amazon I've never even seen these like on UGG before um and I just think she will love them <laughs> Okay, so next I actually have a couple of pieces from Amazon Fashion. I was scrolling for Christmas presents, but these things just caught my eye. I couldn't resist ordering them. And the first thing I think you guys will actually love, and I feel like you're all gonna go and order it straight away, especially as it came in so many different colors. And it's this absolutely adorable little cape jacket with the faux fur trim. This is the kind of thing that I absolutely love in like winter fashion, but it's really hard to find. Coast did one um, this year, as you know, and it sold out in dark brown and all of the other colors like weren't very nice, but on Amazon they had so many options and I'm just so excited by this, literally in love with it. So I will try it on in a sec. And then the other piece I got was this really cute little um, knitted roll neck dress. I just wanted something for like that period between Christmas day and like New Year's day where we're spending time with family um, but it's mostly indoors in like people's houses so I kind of want to feel nice and like somewhat dressed up and not just in my clothes that I wear every day at home but I also want to be nice and comfortable um, so I thought that this would be perfect I really like the colour it's just a really pretty little cream it's nice and soft and stretchy so I think it will be perfect so let's try these on now so guys here is the dress on it's pretty much perfect like exactly what I was looking for um, it's a lovely colour nice and soft comfortable flattering and just really nice and casual but especially when I have like a little bit of jewellery on and my hair all nice and down um it looks like dressed up enough that I'm not just like in slobby clothes um yeah really nice and super affordable as well so let's try on the cape oh my gosh guys the cape is so so cute look at it it has so much movement like I love the back look how cute it looks from the back Oh, listen to the birds. Um, it's just so pretty, it's so winter chic. It kind of has like a little bit of a Russian princess look, like very royal and regal. I love this so much. And like I said, they had this in so many different colors. Um, so whatever you have in mind, it's definitely worth checking out. Oh my gosh, guys, I just tried the cape on um, with a different outfit because I felt like the dress and the cape were like blending in together. And look how cute the cape looks when you use some contrasting colors. And it looks so cute with the beret as well. This is honestly adorable, a must have, I would say. <laughs> So next I got something for my dad and my dad is notoriously difficult to buy for on Christmas. Like he literally doesn't want anything. He doesn't like anything, especially clothes. But when I saw this, I thought that there was a small chance he might actually like it. So 
I took the chance and I got him this really nice black diesel hoodie and honestly guys if he doesn't like this I will eat the bucket hat because there's just nothing not to like it's nice and lightweight which he likes um there's not too much like branding going on my dad is like anti-branding he doesn't like any logos or anything like that but I think this is really subtle and it's actually quite a cool little design so I'm really hoping he likes this because if he does I will have actually nailed Christmas so next I have another present for Coco. It's a well-known fact that I really like to spoil my sister on Christmas and birthdays. I just love buying her presents. Not that she deserves it because she's so mean to me. She won't even let her cat come for a sleepover at my flat. But anyway, I got her this really, really cute little pink Calvin Klein bralette and pants set. So I've actually got this. I got this years ago from Urban Outfitters. And ever since, I have tried to find the pink version and I can never, ever find it. So when I saw these on Amazon, I was literally like gobsmacked. I ordered the bralette and the pants for Coco. And then I also ordered myself two pairs of thongs um, and two pairs of knickers because they're so, so comfortable. Um, and Coco will be so excited. She really likes the Calvin Klein bralettes but hers have just been worn so much they're a little bit tatty now and I think she just had like the grey before so I think when she sees it in pink she will be so so happy and I was just really impressed that there was so much Calvin Klein underwear on Amazon I mean who would have thought and then the last thing I got was another little gift from me to me I just saw it and thought it was so beautiful and um, I couldn't resist buying it so it's from Swarovski. Um, I absolutely love Swarovski jewellery and there was such an amazing selection on there. They also had tons of Pandora. So this is the bracelet that I got. It's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, guys, look how pretty and sparkly the bracelet is. Oh, I love it so much. It's so, so beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. They also did have it in gold, um, but I decided to get rose gold because like all of my jewelry is rose gold. So I thought that it would go. Um, but yeah, that is just divine. What a beautiful little Christmas gift from me to me. Or a really beautiful idea if you're struggling. Um, for last minute ideas, you could get this on next day delivery. Um, and this would just make anyone's Christmas. Honestly, it's stunning. Oh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed that little Amazon haul. Uh, maybe it gave you some good present ideas, some last minute gifts. Um, I think I did really well. I'm feeling really organized now and just so excited to give people their presents. Um, so I think now I'm just going to tidy everything up eat my delivery um, but I will see you guys tomorrow for another absolutely magical day that you will definitely not want to miss. Good morning everyone, I cannot actually believe that the sun has come out today in London, it's like a miracle and it's really good timing because today I'm having a gorgeous festive girly day with Josie, our first stop is the Natural History Museum ice rink which I just can't wait to ice skate, I've been once already this winter I plan to go many more times, especially as this year is actually the last year ever for the Natural History Museum ice rink, and that's my favourite one, so I'm actually really upset about it. So I'm hoping to get over there more than once this winter. Um, so after that we're having dinner, and this evening we're actually going to see the Nutcracker at the Royal Opera House, and I'm so excited, you guys know I love the Nutcracker, it's one of my Christmas traditions, I don't go every single year. I've been so many times ever since I was little and I do think the Royal Ballet production um, is better than the English National Ballet. I just think it's more traditional, so it depends what you like, but I personally prefer it. So I'm very, very excited. And can you guys guess which bag I'm wearing today? Yes, it's the new Chanel. Hopefully you can see it in a bit better light now so you can see how beautiful the colour is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to take it out on its first outing. Um, oh my god, I'm just so, so happy with it. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> so me and the Chanel are all ready to go and we will see you there.
us any drama. Woo! <laughs> Can you get him a shirt? Darling, show us your outfit of the evening. Coat, of course. Gorgeous. And the beautiful buttons. So stunning. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for like, the perfect occasion to wear this coat. They're and the dazzling. New shoes as well. And new yes. shoes. And new shoes. Oh. New shoes. <laughs> Gorgeous. Let's go to the ballet. Christmas isn't Christmas without Nutcracker for us. And we love it because it's such a wonderful ballad. Um, this production has been in the company for now 30 odd years. Uh, the director of it is Peter Wright was 95 the other week and we brought him on stage to celebrate that. And we always, because we have so many tragedies in our ballet world, you know, the Giselles, the Roman Julia. So the great thing about the Nutcracker is nobody dies. That's the, that's the spoiler. And, uh, and I think it, it's a, a really classic tale. And I hope you enjoy it. We followed, for those of you who don't know the story, we followed uh, Clara and her journey through the kingdom of sweets, the land of snow. There's a nutcracker in there, and then she meets the prince and the ship on fairy. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm sure it'll put you into the Christmas mood and have a lovely, lovely night. And thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. thing ever. It's Look at you! Everyone, the lights in Westfield are so pretty! I love them! Oh my god, they do it so nicely. It's so over the top. I love it. 
Guys, I'm thinking this dress in Abercrombie would be so nice for Coco. Hold it up. Let's see. I think that's so cute and it's sparkly. It's like the Abercrombie Fitch kids dress that I had. But I really love this one. <gasps> this is so me. Oh my God, I'm really, really tempted to buy this. So pretty. I just love Abercrombie clothes so much. We're doing Insta pics. <laughs> Insta model. Work it, baby. <laughs> Come and show me. Ooh. That's quite cute, Coco. It's baggy. And that's a six, so. Yeah. I actually quite like that, though. I do. It was tight. Yeah. True. It was way too Okay. On we go. <laughs> Um, two passion fruit and mango, um, one Belgian chocolate and Uh, I think I should get the raspberry or the candy cane. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's so good. It is. I can't believe I've never had little moons before. It's so yummy. Don't do it. And now me. I want a boost. Little moon. Oh, what is it? Little moon. Little moon. Little moon. Little moon. Little moon. <laughs> So here is Coco's college audition outfit. This will go over your like dance wear. Yeah. So my singing acting work. I love the colours. Me too. It's very neutral. Yeah. Very professional. I'm kind of jealous. Style. I might want to borrow this. Oh my gosh, guys! I am back now from what was a really long day of shopping. Um, I'm just not sure I like shopping in real life anymore, especially at Christmas. Westfield was so busy, and Coco and I just got so fatigued that by the end of it we were just like oh my god we need to leave we're so tired but it was pretty successful coco ended up getting a dress and um, we didn't vlog it because i was so over vlogging after like an hour in there it was just chaos um but she got a dress she got an outfit um, and i also managed to pick up a few christmas presents and now i feel like i'm pretty much sorted for presents which is fantastic so i'm just going to spend the rest of the evening with my tree um doing some work uh but thank you guys so so much for watching this vlog there will be another one i basically have two more to upload before the end of the year so there'll be either one um this week or two next week so make sure you have those notifications turned on so you know when i have uploaded next um and there's so much more amazing stuff to come that i can't wait for you guys to see so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next vlog